This is going to be a video review of the Ultra Superior trail running shoe. Ultra has been making shoes with a wide forefoot and no heel lift since I don't know when but since I found out about them <laughs> and their shoes are awesome. I really really love them. I have been running in the Instinct pretty much exclusively since I bought it and I like it very much except for the fact that the bottom is very slippery in mud and on leaves. Other than that, the shoe is fantastic. I love it. So I was very excited when they came out with a, a model with some, a, a, a better sole for running in the woods. And what they have is they have a backwards facing zigzag pattern so I guess when you land you're not going to slide forward if you're landing on the outside of your foot and if you're pushing off on the inside of your foot they've reversed the tread pattern so that you shouldn't slide as you're, you're leaving um, the ground that way and then the interior lugs are, are summer backwards summer forwards and they also have this little flap on the end which I guess would prevent you from slipping if you really lost it. So, the things I like about the shoe, definitely the color, the looks, I think are fantastic. I love how flexible it is. And I even have the stone guard in here. They come with removable insoles. And they come with this stone guard here, which doesn't seem to affect the flexibility of the shoe much. It adds about two ounces to the weight. One ounce each I guess. But I, I tried the shoe with and without the stone guard in the driveway and I stepped on a few stones and this is a very firm shoe. There isn't a lot of give in it at all. I think this material is firmer than this material. This, this gives much better. So I went out and ran, you know, ran down the driveway and uh, this shoe, my old instincts, feels softish. Not greatly soft, but fairly soft. This feels pretty firm. So it has a different feel than the instinct, which is a little bit of a disappointment. I was hoping to have the exact same feel, but with just a tread pattern here. They, it has some reinforcement here that I'm a little skeptical of. I don't like anything that sticks out and sticks could get stuck through. So I much prefer shoes like these Merrells that just have some kind of, I don't know what this is, but if, if you have to reinforce it, I don't think this is the best way to do it. But I do like the flexibility. The stone guard I probably would remove. These were one pound, three ounces for the pair without the stone guard and one pound through five ounces with the stone guard so i do like them they're very flexible everything looks great i unfortunately cannot go out and run in the woods in them because i'm going to return them because i seem to have a defect this left shoe when i look down on it i see more green on the outside than i do when i look down on this shoe and the reason is i don't know if you'll be able to tell from here but this, this is pretty straight up and down, and this one is like leaned in. I don't know if you can tell that. It's, it's kind of off-centered over, over that way. This, this leans a little bit, you know, it's like at an angle. And the bottom, this whole side, if I had a straight edge... Hold on. Okay, I got myself a ruler. This is not going to work. Um, if I put that ruler up there and there and slide these shoes together. I don't know if you can tell, but the bottom here is almost touching and the bottom over here is at least a quarter inch away. So there's something strange <clears throat> with this left shoe. It's tilted inward, I can see it. I can't really say I can feel it, but because I can see it, it, it annoys me to the point where I'm gonna return these. So, Anyway, I'm very much looking forward to these. Oh, one other thing. I think these are going to be fantastic for snowshoe racing. And the reason is that little flap in the back. Let me take my snowshoes, put this shoe in them, and I won't even bother to tighten them up. But usually I, I have this strap on my snowshoes back here, and I have it up high on my heel 
so that the, the bend of the shoe holds it up and it doesn't slide down and off, right, you know, on a normal shoe. But on this pair of shoes, I should be able to mount it real, real low. And this little tab here is going to prevent it from ever slipping off, which is pretty cool. So I am looking forward to using these for snowshoe racing. I think that'll be awesome. So I think this is going to be a great shoe. Wish it was softer. Like if I go to my Nike Zoom Vomeros, check out how soft this is. That, that's like a really, really soft material. Um, I wish Ultra or somebody who makes a wide four foot zero drop shoe would make something less stiff than this. Um, I think the, the reason these are stiffer or less cushioned than the Instinct is I think the only amount of cushion you have is from here to here. The, the middle of this, this, this line here on down, I think this is just wrapped up. Not 100% sure of that, but if you look at this one, there's, there's a considerably thicker piece of cushioning here, and then they have the red piece wrapping up. So I think they cut down on the height of the cushioning maybe to give a little more height to the lugs, but it's made it a much firmer shoe. So you're going to want to run a little bit more like you would in a minimalist shoe, like, like, the, like these Merrill trail gloves. So I think you're going to want to be making sure you're landing your forefoot. And the, you know, with the instinct, I could land on my heel, I could land on my forefoot, I could land flat. And it really was not a jarring ride. These, I think, will be a bit jarring if you're landing on your heel. One thing I forgot to mention is I have this nasty habit of pulling my left toe upward and putting holes in shoes and my socks. And this has a nice little covering here, which I don't think I'll be able to poke a hole in with my toe. So that's another very nice thing about this shoe. Anyway, that's my review. I'm going to return these for another pair that hopefully doesn't have this little defect where it's tilted inward. And if I do, I'll make a new review with how I like running in them. Thanks.